Welcome back to my designs. Uh, we're going to jump straight into this project. So I've recently acquired a Banggood diode laser and uh, I'm not really a bowl turner, but we're turning a bowl because I want to make a nice fancy dish. So started off life as a eight inch by about two and probably three eighths bowl blank that I've got here. And I never really turned around to before, and I don't really see many other people turning it. It's a bit of a, I don't know if it's a bit of an underrated wood. I haven't turned it, I've had it, I bought it at a job lot, not really used it, and uh, I thought it would be an ideal as a bit more of a dish that I can later laser engrave. So I've roughed this out, it's just on a face plate, and I'm using my 3 8 bowl gouge, and I'm just doing some final sanding, taking out some of those tooling marks with the ever so loved Abrinets. I've got the dust extraction on, so I'm sorry it is a little bit noisy in places, um, but I will try and filter that out as best as I can. So I've got everything nice, that bubble shape is what I aim for, that um, balloon shape at the bottom, and I've just made sure with a skew chisel I've got somewhere to put my chuck when I turn this round. It's a beautiful wood, Moranti. I've, again, I've, I've not really used it, um, but I must say I'm quite impressed. It's unbelievably light. I'm a bit more of a darker man myself for uh, for turning blanks. That's usually what I go for, a bit more on trend. And it doesn't half uh, just suck up the, uh, the uh, sanding sealer. I'm using some chestnut stuff here. And uh, in between each one is just some... I've never used it before, but I'm, I'm really impressed with just ultra-fine wire wool and uh, you'll see in a minute here that it just turns really really nice and it, it just takes off that that high edge and I find with using a bit of a torch just quite a strong powerful torch is you can follow the light round the bowl blank and you can see where it looks flat if you can see here it's a bit difficult to show up on camera but it's a nice little tool I, I watched on a, someone else's video I, I can't remember whose it, whose it was but it's uh, you do it similarly in bodywork, but you can follow where it's kind of, you know, absorbed that sealer. Um, my go-to finishes at the minute, I do get a few questions about this. Is just Hampshire sheen and a uh, chestnut sealer and uh, sanding in between. Probably about depends on the wood, but three coats of uh, three coats of each, polished new uh, new napkin every time, just to keep it um, just to keep it clean, no grit in there. And as you can see, it's, um, it, I mean, it's a beautiful blank. It, you know, it, it did turn really, really nice. So uh, I'm really chuffed to bits with the uh, with the finish. It looks quite smart, it looks quite good. Turn this round and I've just got in a dovetail on there, just ready for my chuck. And again, I'm just gonna be scooping out the middle here. My pro edge is really paying off for itself. I'm, I'm getting some really consistent grinds now and uh, it's really brought my turning up to a uh, a better level so uh, I've managed to take some quite nice shots here of me just scooping out that um, uh, that center core here again uh, Maranti it, it does turn really really nice like anything I'm just taking my time um, my lathe is, is great for spindle work and I have in my last video you would have seen me use the other side of it but this I just managed to get away with and my setup now I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it I'm comfortable it's working well and I think I'm naturally kind of progressing on with uh, with turning quite nicely again I'm, I managed to get some really nice cuts on this and uh, I've done it I'm not allowed to do any more bowls, says uh, Mrs. Anker, uh, because the house is just full of them now. But I do enjoy doing them when I do do them, but I'm, I'm always looking for ways to make it a little bit different, hence this video. So thanks for uh, coming along, clicking along, and uh, please do hit that like and subscribe and leave any comments. I'm using new microphone and equipment today, so I'm hoping that you can see a bit of a difference. Uh, but back to it here is there's the blank so there's the finish that I'm getting it's consistent it looks good and it's it's reliable as well I've I've found with some other things is um, I just get really inconsistent results I have got to make this warning flashing images I'm really sorry I, I have got some friends out there that are uh, uh, epileptic uh, bless them so uh, it's going to go away and you are going to see this process but uh, I would give the engraver probably be about a 6 out of 10. The machine quality itself is good. The software is horrifically bad. Um, you get no support from Banggood and it's still a fairly new machine, although it is doing a job for me. 
So it's very much a case, go on Google Images, find it, drag in, it's drag and drop. You've just got to set your X and Y, your parameters, um, your output wattage that you're going to be wanting to put on here. And it's fairly straightforward. It, it's giving me very inconsistent results. And I think the distance between the um, the output of the actual uh, the feed of the laser to the height of the um, of your bowl that you've got massive massively different uh, you know if you have it too close etc. I always check and change the focal point of the uh, of the laser beam, but um, I don't know it's just a bit inconsistent. There's a lot of variables. I'm using lots of different woods, and I am asking quite a bit. I think these are retailing around 160 quid at the minute. But uh, again, I'm pleased with the results. It's given me a, something a bit different. So after I've done all this, I'm going to chuck it back into the lathe now. This was unfinished, and again, this was a bit new for me. I wasn't sure how it's going to work, but off camera I blew everything off because you do get like a burnt residue from the laser. So just be sure to uh, to blow it off and make sure she's not going to smudge. And again, I'm just going to be repeating what I did on the outside of the bowl. So three uh, levels of uh, chestnut sanding sealer, and then I'm going to be finishing off with um, with three layers, whatever you want to call it, of the Hampshire Shee. Now this is very much an overview video, this is something that's a bit of an experiment for me, see what it was like, see what the quality is like. Um, I think what I'll be doing more in future is using the laser as a template to then finish off on a detail with a pyrography kit that I've recently purchased, so you'll perhaps be seeing that in an upcoming video. Uh, if you want me to do a little bit more of an in-depth, detailed version of the Vigo Tech, uh, I think it's a F7 or S7 um, uh, laser, then uh, please leave a comment and let me know. I very much stick with being a dolly mix type channel of doing just a little bit of everything, and uh, you know the the whole tech type thing videos is not really my bag. But if you want something in layman terms. Uh, let me know. I went for this for a multitude of different reasons, things like making my own stickers, potentially gaskets, cutting out sanding discs and bowl blanks, making my own branding iron marks on bowls, you know, that type of thing. It's um, it's pretty good. It, it's not like going to be cutting wood or anything like that. It is solely an engraver. And... Uh, very difficult to get things central and get it in the center point. I'm going to be looking at a third party software for this and I might be getting some better results out of it. But for a bowl, it looks okay, but I think with a little bit more of a, um, a custom touch like my octopus that I've put on here, again, completely first project on, um, on both wood, laser, and doing this, and I'm not really a bowl turner. Uh, so it, it came together quite nice. It came together better than uh, than what I was expecting, and uh, more importantly, it's uh, the the boss is quite happy with it. So again, a little bit different, a little bit of a challenge for me. And uh, if you do want to be seeing this in some more upcoming future projects, then do let me know. So uh, let's kind of jump and uh, finish off in summarising. But as you can see from here, it came out pretty nice. So thanks very much, and let's jump straight in. So I finished it and uh, Octopus looks pretty good. It's not quite in the middle, which is driving me insane, but it's it's rustic. I uh, got the, that kind of, the ideal bubble shape corners. It was quite a narrow bowl and it was one of these ones that I've had for ages and I didn't really fancy turning it. Uh, it's extremely light. I've never, I've never kind of turned anything this light before, but it's a beautiful wood. I mean, those, um, that kind of color change there I mean that's amazing. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. Turned out okay. Turned really nice, and uh, you'll be seeing more of this kind of project in future. Pretty pleased. See you next time. Thank you. Another bloody bowl.